Now, when you think of NASA, you might think about rockets launching yes. to another planet and humans walking on the moon. But NASA has a variety of missions that focus on studying changes here, right here on Earth, right. uh, from sea level, uh, hurricanes. And here to celebrate Earth Day with us is Matt Rodell, NASA's acting deputy director of Earth Sciences for Hydrosphere, Biosphere, and Geophysics. Wow. I want that title. That is a title. Awesome. It's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, tell us what's NASA's connection to Earth Day? Well, believe it or not, when NASA was first founded in 1958, one of its core missions was studying the Earth. And the reason is obvious. We have an amazing vantage point from space to be able to make observations of Earth. Imagine before before we had satellite observations of Earth, we had to make all our observations on the ground. Can you imagine trying to make measurements of temperature and precipitation all over Earth using gauges on the ground? It's basically impossible. So so, so NASA has a, this unique vantage point. We, we measure things, like I said, like temperature and precipitation, but also things like how the ice sheets are changing and sea level rise, um, how ecosystems are responding to climate change and even you know direct impacts on the Earth of humans, things like how the growth of cities I go on and on. Nice. Wow, fascinating. Yeah. Now NASA is set to launch a crew to the International Space Station tomorrow. What are some of the missions and instruments on the International Space Station that's going to benefit Earth? Yeah, so the International Space Station actually has about 16 sensors bolted onto it right now that are looking down at Earth. Um, they make various observations, things like uh, the constituents of the atmosphere, so things like the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, uh, aerosols that affect the amount of sun hitting the Earth, um, also measurements of things on the ground, like how ecosystems are changing, um, the, the height of trees, and, uh, and, and then also measurements of the ocean, the, the, the ocean color, and I could go on and on. There, there are, uh, like I said, 16 sensors. I can't even begin to name them all. Wow, it's fascinating. Now, I know that climate change is one of the major issues of our generation. Yes. What is studying the Earth from space taught us about climate change? Well, like I said, we have this unique vantage points from space. And climate change is not just the Earth warming uniformly everywhere, right? So when, when we talk about global warming, it's actually uh, the Earth is warming more at the poles than it is at the equator. And there are different effects on different parts of the Earth. And it's not just the temperature change, right? So, for example, last year um, we had 30 named stor storms in the Atlantic, um, a huge storm year. Now, we don't know for sure that climate change is, is causing an increase in the number of tropical storms and hurricanes, but we do know that when the ocean surface is warmer, um, that means that the hurricanes tend to intensify. We get you know, these more of these four and five category storms. And when the air temperature is higher, that means that the the uh, more moisture can be held by the storms. That means they're going to produce more precipitation um, and, and potentially cause bigger impacts on the land when they hit the land. Mm. Man, I'm glad you all are studying all of that. Where can our viewers and people learn more about mm -hmm. NASA Earth Day activities? Yeah, so if you go to um, if you go to uh, nasa.gov uh, slash Earth Day, you can find out a lot more. There's also the um, hashtag connected by Earth. Awesome. All right, yeah, Matt, sure thank you, you so that. much. One thing I love about science is it really encourages curiosity. Absolutely. And so I love that. I'm glad that we have people out there looking at all possible options for us here on Earth. Matt, we appreciate you. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Thank you so much. Yeah. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, <laughs> for sure.